charity uh, when betting on your football matches. So if we have a look at how we can um, calculate this, how, so we can convert uh, odds to probability so that you can perhaps just look at a game and if you're thinking, oh, I've got a real, I really fancy them to win this, or, you know, I fancy, I fancy them to win comfortably. So what does comfortably look like? Does that mean a 50% chance? Probably not. Does it mean a 75% chance? Maybe. So what about if we look at the odds that you're given and calculate them to a percentage? So you can easier, it's easier for you to sort of um, understand in your own mind what we're, what we're dealing with. So if we look at a game that's got odds of, the away team perhaps has got 550 or 92 odds. I always work in decimal, but I'll do uh, fractions as well for you. So the decimal odds might look like this. In order to calculate the percentage, we're going to do 1 divided by the decimal odds times 100. So if we have a look, so 1 divided by 5.50 times 100, and that's going to give us a percentage of 18%. So that means you're looking at that team having 18% chance of winning according to the odds that you're given. If you like that in fractional odds, you do the denominator divided by the denominator plus the numerator times 100. It's like going back to school, isn't it, with all this denominator and numerator stuff? So that would look like this. 2 divided by 2 plus 9 times 100. And again, it's going to give us 18% because no matter whether you're looking at decimal or fractional odds, it's still going to be the same calculation. So that's just a really quick way. It's not really linked to anything else in the video. It's just a quick way of converting the odds on your screen when you're looking at Betfair, looking at Bet365, converting them into a percentage so that you can deal with that in your mind and think, do I think they've got an 18% chance of winning? You might round it up and say, do I think they've got a 20% chance of winning? If the odds come out and uh, the decimal odds come out nearer to sort of 2.0 and it's saying 50%, you're saying, do I think it's a 50-50 coin toss if they're going to win or not? No, I don't. I think they're going to be higher than that. I think it's a better chance, so the odds aren't accurate. So that's a, just a sort of quick quick way of doing that. So let's have a look at how I would then go about um, trying to find myself some fair odds, uh, trying to find some value odds, really quick and crude way, if you like. So without having to use the Poisson di distribution model, you're not going to get quite the accuracy but it's going to give you a quick idea of how you can do it for free and it doesn't take too long. So this is how I started off when I was doing the models um, and I've since progressed into doing what I do now. But this is a really quick and easy free way that you can get started. So I'm going to look at the game in the Argentinian National League, which starts tomorrow, which is Thursday the 25th. And it's uh, Quilmes, <laughs> my pronunciation, Quilmes versus um, Belgrano. So what we're going to do is I've gone onto Soccerway and I've just sort of used a screenshot of this because it's easier than doing it live. But gone to Soccerway, found the fixture, clicked on it and into the details for the fixture. And then you go down and what we're doing is we're selecting only the Primera National because we only want league games. And for Quilmes, who are the home team, we only want their home games. And we're looking at the last five games. So we're going to make a note of what happened in the last five games, whether they won, drew or lost in their uh, last five home games. And we're going to do the same for the away teams. The fact that this is offset really annoys me. That's something that happened on Soccer Way. But anyway, um, so Belgrano, the away team, we're going to do the same for them. We're going to look at the last five games and we're going to be saying how many they won, how many they drew and how many they lost. Now, it's worth noting that in some of the English leagues at the moment, if you look at this, you'll see that the last time they played um, five home or five away games, it spans uh, across two seasons, so that's not very useful. Um, you'll be looking at the sort of top two fixtures here will be in the 2021-22 season. Uh, and be careful, especially if you're looking at teams that were once promoted or relegated. I was looking at Birmingham Rotherham earlier um, to try and do this example because Birmingham are my team. But the last time Rotherham played five games in the Championship was sort of two years ago because they got promoted. So it's not that obvious when you look at it. But anyway, I digress. This is what we're looking at. I use Soccerway just because I find the interface easy. Although there's a lot of advertising on it at the moment, which makes it a bit slower. I used to always like it a lot more than the other sites. But you can use whatever site you want. This is just the data that you're looking for. So what do we do then? How do we identify the value odds? So we're looking at the home team and the away team, as I say. And we're looking at how many they won at home, they drew at home and lost at home in their last five games. And we're doing the same for the away. So they won two away games, drew two and lost one in the last five. And we're adding them together, but not as simply as one, how many games have won, drawn and lost sort of 
Well, we'll see. So four, we're getting four for this because there's been four home wins, if you like, four wins at the home ground, you could say. So there's three home wins and one um, away loss. So that means that the home team won that game that was lost away, you know. So three plus one is four. The draws are easier, obviously that's three. And for the... Oh, sorry, why don't I click the button? And for the losses... Um, We've got three as well because we've got two away wins and one home loss. So that adds to three. It makes more sense when we get down to the bottom, to be honest. But they're the numbers that we're looking at. As I said, it's quite crude, but it does give you a decent indication. So we're looking at four um, four home wins, if you like. So 40% chance, 30% chance of the draw and 30% chance of the away win. Uh, and that's just by obviously converting those four, three and three into percentages out of 10 because there were 10 games. Uh, in total so if we convert those into decimals we're looking at 2.50 for 40% 3.3 for the draw and the away so that's what we're sort of identifying as value odds based on the last five games home and away for the teams that are playing so we're saying that really we should be looking at the home team being favourites if we want to get involved with the home team we don't want to see odds of sort of 1.5 1.6 anything up to 2 because we should be getting 2.50 for our home win. We think they're favourites, but they're not massive favourites. So if it's below that, we're not getting good value from the bookies. If you're looking at the draw and the away, if you're getting decent odds for draw and away, um, you know, sometimes you might get sort of up near a four for the draw, and you could you could get sort of up near a six, five or six for the away. If you're getting that, then it would look like a, a lay for the home team, um, looking like you might get some value in a lay. Uh, so it depends what the odds are. I'm not going to go and get the live odds now because they'll be out of date by the time you watch this video anyway. Um, and the, like I say, it's, it's crude. I'm not I'm not claiming I'm reinventing the wheel here. Many people have done this before. It's a very quick introduction in how you can do it. If you don't want to, as I mentioned in my last video, pay for a subscription to some more accurate data. You're not going to get huge accuracy because you're only going to ever get sort of round numbers in terms of the percentages, 40, 30, 30, because you obviously... You're not going to go back far enough to sort of get massive amounts of data, but I, I like it. I like it for a beginner. Um, so in conclusion, what have we looked at? We've looked at converting odds to percentages, which was the first thing we looked at, just for a very quick analysis, even if you don't go any further with looking at the last five games, just so that you can get in your head what sort of percentage, because we all work on percentages, don't we? You know, oh, is it going to rain? There's a 50% chance it might rain. Okay, I know that that means it may or may not it's kind of a flip of a coin you know um what, what are the chances of what are the chances of you coming coming out tonight or you got to stay in oh, i'll give it 75 percent chance you know i'm probably going to come but there's a slight chance i won't we work in percentages so um, taking those odds and putting them into percentages i think is for our logical brain works well use home and away form when you're looking at the analysis as in use home games for the home team and away games for the away team and only use the league we're not interested in any cup games because teams will change sometimes obviously depending on what the cup is you might be playing the um, teams from different leagues different divisions so use the home, last five home games for the home team and the last five away games for the away team calculate the prob probability and convert it into odds and then compare the odds that you've just created to the bookmaker's odds to identify where the value lies. A little note, you can also do this with over and unders. So with the over and unders, you would uh, add up the amount of goals scored um, or add up the amount of games where there were over or under 2.5 goals, for example, and go through the same process uh, and calculate the odds that way, uh, which is also you know just as effective um, in terms of the sort of crude and sort of initial analysis way as doing it with the wind or wind market um so yeah i hope i hope you found that useful um i hope that it gives a little bit of an introduction into building your own odds and just identifying value i want everyone to identify value whether they're sort of um whether coming on board with me or just doing it themselves because what nobody wants the bookmakers to take your money i'd rather you took your own money uh, back or took their money from them um i want you to at least sort of break even when you uh, bookies uh, at the bookies so yeah, so just sort of hopefully use this as a start to give a bit more thought to your betting and you, I can just show you that it doesn't have to be rocket science, it doesn't have to take forever to just put a little bit of logic in and try and sort of get a little bit of the edge back from the bookmakers rather than just ploughing into anything that you think might look attractive. Just look at the last five games and maybe the pitch will change a little bit. 
so that's it that's it from me so if you could like and subscribe i'll be massively grateful it really i know it's a pain in the ass because everybody says that and it's really cliched but it does help a lot in terms of the algorithm and those little adverts at the start if i could try and make money from them that'd be brilliant although i need about a million views but anyway there's the website and i hope you can uh, enjoy this video leave me a comment uh, anything you want to explain or anything you'd like me to do in future videos drop me an email anything you like i'm open to it all all right thanks a lot bye